Hi Aries, welcome to your monthly readings. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. And if you would like a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. So Aries, I do feel that some of you want to break free from something. And I feel that the month of June is still presents some challenges for that. The freedom you are seeking or the fair outcomes and results and responses and opportunities that some of you really do uh, desiring, uh, you do desire and you have been fighting for, it seems to be a struggle. I feel that there's a right time for this to happen and it may be a process. Uh, I feel that some of you are in this survival mode during uh, this time, like trying your best to get um, the results uh, you need, even if those results are just for the basic, like the basic aspects of your life. I feel that some of you want more and you desire more but you just don't know how to get there or how to make it happen. There's an energy of planning and strategy that is required. This is an energy that requires a lot of patience and tenacity to get you towards the results you want. It's a certainty that you will get those, but it may take a while. It may take uh, more time than the other nights would take to get you the results because this is an earth night. This is a night that takes uh, slow, steady steps uh, because he wants to be uh, assured that once he gets those results, it's going to be a solid energy and not just something that easily can be thrown out and, um, you know, dissipated in, into the wind. So this earthy grounding energy is required uh, for some of you to strategize and plan ahead towards your future investment. Some of you are thinking about how to invest um, in wise and smart ways to your future, to the future of your families, how to, uh, you know, how to or where to put the right seeds to um, grant you the harvest you're looking for. And I feel that some of you want more than just, you know, financial uh, abundance. Some of you are looking for just that, living the dream. Some of you have dreams you want to live that may be somehow connected with your career aspirations, yes, but I see you really desiring to manifest this big dream you have or this big uh, vision of happiness that you keep kind of coming back to. Um, some of you are, are dealing with uh, unfair uh, circumstances. I feel that some of you feel like or, are, or you are or you are actually dealing with legal situations that are not favorable for you during this time, or there's some type of uh, outside force that seems to be higher than your energies right now, or higher, or in a higher position, or uh, where you may have some domain over what you can and cannot do, and you may be... Um, you may even be rebelling against that for some of you. Some of you need to uh, slow down a notch. You may be wanting to fight uh, the enemy, let's say, whichever this per se enemy is, uh, with um, weak weapons. You need strategy. You, if you want to go into the battlefield, I feel like you need strategy before you just jump into it. You need to gather resources, gather uh, weaponry, get yourself ready, gather other people to join you, your cause. I feel that some of you may be actually fighting injustice during the month of June, something that may really, uh, you know, call to your hero spirit and you just want to fight for what's right, but it may be a struggle. In other ways, I feel that Aries are looking for help or assistance. It could be financial help, it could be uh, advice, it could be just a giving hand. I feel that some of you feel like things could be easier if you would just have someone, again, 
to join your cause or to join your projects, your ideas, what you're seeking out to do uh, with your life during this time. And I, I feel that, again, because there's, there's a message here for you to not depend on anyone. And what I feel is that it may be hard or harder than usual during the month of June to bring others uh, to the same to bring others to, to the table let's say to join with uh, what you're thinking about doing because this may be something that it, you were supposed to do solo you're supposed to do on your own you know take a risk take a stand but on your own but still this stand or this project this business this venture this passionate desire you have to accomplish something um it's it's a process it takes time usually with this knight of pentacles uh it could be uh plans that may take over a year to happen or to solidify themselves it doesn't mean that you're going to have to wait one year for things to work out of course not this is a general reading and for um all of you would be will be a different scenario but what i want to say is that uh the solid grounding energy you're looking for the results the tangible results some of you are looking for it may take you it may take longer than what your patience uh, desires or what your 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 excitement your your needs even want um and demand at this time because i feel that some of you have you know you have needs that you need to fulfill immediately because they may be very again like i was saying basic needs it may be things that you know of our mundane reality like having a roof over your head and eating and taking care of your children or taking care of any basic needs you may have those needs that you may need to attend right now possibly by uh doing things that if you had a choice you wouldn't do and the process is at the same time that you're doing that to not give up on the other way, the other plan, the other expensive um, visions of the future that you have. I feel that things will come when the time is right and you may not really be you may not really be comfortable with this notion of needing to wait for an, an external uh opportunity to tell you when when it is right you may want to push 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 and that's okay i just feel that you need to be cautious with the way you go against or the flow because it may backfire to you with this five of cups you may need to turn around and see what you still have here to uh help you i feel that some of you are a little bit uh dissatisfied again or discontent with how your life uh has been or is going emotionally uh in terms of this soul is like the fulfilling of your soul there's something there that it's really missing and you may believe that by having this business built or by uh getting uh something that you have been fighting for or by uh, joining or fighting a cause that would help you know better this world or put things in a sense of balance and justice to something just to you to someone or to the world itself you will you may believe that by doing that you'll finally heal uh your emotional wounds and i feel that you cannot expect outside external circumstances to heal and you know soothe your inner pain it does help sometimes to have a cause of course to have something to hold on to and to aspire that would kind of put us in the right place or that finally would be that breakthrough that would bring happiness but i believe that the majority of you already know that things are not really like that you do have some healing that um, it doesn't really depend or it doesn't really uh, there's things that don't change wounds that won't change inside of us just because 
outside we are kind of being successful or we have a good partner by our, by our sides or we are, um, you know, living materialistic uh, ambitions or getting them. I feel that some of you need to understand this mutual, the balance between the inner world and the outer world and how to possibly gravitate between both and not choose just one side or expect that one side would fit or heal the other. So uh, there's courage, courage uh, that it's required. I feel for Aries in the month of June, there's a sense of needing to be really brave and, and use this Knight of Wands, which is an energy that I identify with, with Aries, to be brave. To have courage to face adversity to face challenges to face problems to face yourself you know th your own bs your own uh you know action or inaction towards something that you would like to to do it's it's this it, it's this energy of being your own superhero yes not being the victim not being the victim of circumstances that are not apparently at your favor because I feel things will change, just give it time. Justice in this uh, challenge position is a little bit of a karmic energy here, so there may be actual strong opposite forces to you during this time. I feel that some of you actually may have some uh, disputes, battles, uh, opposite forces, enemies, let's say, kind of vibration here, but you may need to let it go for now for because you may need to again take some time to really strategize to know how to beat down this enemy and you know enemy energy can be anything from an actual person against you from an actual institution from an actual uh your own shadow can be your enemy your own again your own um negative uh vibration can come out and manifest itself through throughout ways that may keep you a prisoner of certain experiences that you should learn or you should be by now learning how to evolve from. I feel that some of you have lower, very low vibrations here of um, things you have been trying to to forget, to hide, to not care. And some of you have allowed this to grow to, a, to such a degree that now it's like a disease that is spread, you know, in your system. And please, I don't want you to feel like this is a negative reading. This is not a negative reading. This is just um, a message, messages that I'm receiving and so I need to transmit them. And this will not apply to all Aries out there, of course. This will apply to whoever needs to uh, hear it and whoever feels attracted to listening to me and my messages. And this is not a negative reading. This is actually an opportunity for you during the month of June to take stock of where is your life right now? You know, where have you been possibly delaying situations that right now are turning out to be the most uh, urgent ones. You know, things about you, things about understanding your emotional self, the need to forgive, the need to heal, the need to let go, the need to break chains of fear, break chains of depression, break chains of loss, or a lack. There's a lack here of um, care for yourself. That's what I wanted to say. Some of you have been delaying things that would actually give love to yourself, you know, care. Some of you have been kind of this destructive pattern of uh, hurting yourselves over and over again. And by feeding whichever this negative energy is, which could be related with losses, things you have lost uh, in your life, and you, you haven't yet found a way to be free from that. And of course, it's very hard. It's very hard to be free from losses and it takes time and it takes a lot of awareness. And I feel that some of you kind of being forced to gain that awareness, maybe because you may feel that everything you're trying to do is not working out. Well, this may not be because the universe wants to punish you, but more because before you can get it, 
You need to be the best version of yourself and you need to understand the underlying reasons, the roots that take you there to that aspiration, to that relationship, to that desire, to that ambition. You may need to really dive deep into this well of memories, of losses, of things you have yet to understand and forgive and embrace as a part of life um, and see what's still there, actually. You may, some Aries believe that they have lost everything and they didn't, there's still something they're worth fighting for. But you may need to really go down into your underworld and dive into the unconscious part of yourself and uh, acknowledge a layer of this aspect that may be the reason why the, un the universe is telling you, no, 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 not right now, not yet, not until you get something that is a part of this five of cups a part of something that possibly you feel you have missed out on life you have lost you are regretful of you are bitter about you know whichever more negative connotations you have about emotions about love about self-love and love in terms of um inter exchange you know of affections with others in your life that may be the reason why you are not getting what you want at this time and this is a temporary energy this is not forever this is not a doomsday kind of um reading i just wanted to tell you that there may be obstacles coming not because you're not meant to do the things you want to do because maybe you need a more slow steady careful approach you may need to organize yourself. You may need to be more thorough, you know, more analytical, more disciplined, more like this business mentality um, towards your future. You may need to slow down in order to get then the results you want in better and consistent ways. And for others, it's because you still need to free yourself from something that it's keeping you from getting what you want from getting the results of this happy ending this beautiful happy ending that a part of you still believes so if a part of you still believes in the dream in the vision it is because it's something important and something that may uh, be at your grasp you just may need to deep down as well feed yourself with the same love and the same uh, justice the same fairness the same righteousness that maybe you seek out in the world maybe you're not being fair to yourself maybe you're not being the best to your own self and why is that so i hope you have a great month of june thank you so much for all of you that have been liking sharing subscribing and commenting to my channel i really appreciate it thank you so much and hopefully we'll see each other soon